Welcome to Neeker's Bullpen. I'm your host, Nick, and I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful holiday over the weekend. I hope you guys made a lot of money Friday before we uh, we kicked off into the weekend. So let's get started real quick. This is the thesis for today, all right? Now, if you look at the chart as of right now, you notice that I already had all this set up before uh, Spy started trying to do its thing, and obviously... We're on the right track as far as the spy going down further and further and further. So I hope nobody's doing any kind of hope and praying strategy here thinking it's going to pay off. It will not pay off because of the fact that we see it on the charts that it's not working out like that. Okay. So right here we're looking at the thesis. And you notice how we double topped roughly around about 385-ish, right? And then, of course, uh, my thesis states, despite double top, yeah, there is 385.65 in post and pre-market. You see how you got the left side, that's in post-market of Friday. Here you got the, uh, the pre-market, right, where it hit about roughly about the same area. And now we dip, we dip back under 384.94. Now, if we can break above that, we can definitely get some higher moves. But we did not. Unfortunately... It tagged the 200 SMA, which is up, which was under the uh, the 384.94, right? And then it fell further. It got under 383.26, and as I you see here, that's what it said. If it can't break above 384.94, then it's going to retest resistance. Uh, then it will test it for resistance, and then of course it will drop down to 383.26. All right. And even though it didn't get a full tap, right, it's called, I call it a soft tap because it didn't actually touch it. It kind of got within maybe 10% uh, uh, gap of it, and then it fell further. And then, of course, now we broke under 383.26, and where we tested it, like a couple of minutes ago, we retested 383.26. So, as you see, she's starting to start trickling down again, okay? But as you see, right, uh, let's go here. This line from... I think this was Thursday ago, right? Uh, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, so here's uh, so here we got this ascending line of support. All right, this is the thing. We're dancing around this area right here already. Okay, that's the thing right now. We're in that area. We're in that little zone, if you will. Okay, when we get down to here. All right, we may actually see a nice little bounce up again, but unless we can get some buying volatility coming in, we're not going to get above 383.26. All right, right now we're kind of testing this level of 383.26 because that's where they're right here, that, that little line right there. That is the 200 SMA. All right, so that's what we're kind of sitting on right now. If it breaks under that, which is right now 383.03, uh, so 383, so 383. If it breaks under that, then of course we're getting to 383. I'm sorry, 382.22, right here at the 50 SMA. So if that happens, it's it's a done and over with game. She's going to keep falling down, and we may possibly get right here to 388.38. But again, 382.22, it has to get that bounce right here, and I'm looking for that type of reaction because it's already did it here. Here, here, so I'm expecting roughly about here. So if we can get that, then we're definitely golden. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get ready to switch over to the chart. Let's uh, I have to switch it over, right? We there we are. Here's the chart that I was talking about uh, right here. Okay, as you see, there's our uh, there's our area, right? This is where we double topped. Okay, comes down. Reacts right here, 384.94, comes down, comes down, comes back up. This is what I mean by the soft touch. See how how it doesn't really touch it? Not the 200 SMA, not the 384.94, but she it's a soft, I call this a soft touch. And then, of course, she just drops. Slams right through 383.26, comes up, retests it, and now she looks, she's about to drop further. Now let's scooch over to, uh, let's scooch over to the t a higher time frame. This is what I'm talking about right here. We have three levels of support, which tells me we may get a more confirmable bounce at this area. But do not mistake in that if it breaks this area, right, 
it, she can drop. She can drop violently on top of it. Okay, so make sure you keep an eye on that when you start uh, when you're trading these things. These levels mean something for a reason. See 384.94 on the three minute chart. Look at this. See how the price reacts to it up here before she breaks down, right? Say, uh, step down here uh, to the 50, uh, 30 minute chart. Same thing, right? Uh, the how the price reacts right here 380.38. Finally got that drop down. She immediately came back above it. Okay. Got, and started bouncing off these levels, 383.04, 383, I'm sorry, 382.22, gaps above 383.26, and got up to 384.94, giving us this double top, could not reach 386.16, and this is where we are now, okay, so this is the thesis I have set up, this is how I see it playing out, so what am I looking for, what am I wanting to get in at, I'm going to get in, Roughly around here for the uh, for the buy side. I want to buy it and I want to hold it up to 383.26. If she can break out, come down, retest, and go up to retest 384.94, I can definitely talk, walk away with some nice profits. However, if it comes down to here, comes up, rejects, then I will short sell this and, uh, and I'll short sell it to three uh, to 381.04, maybe even all the way to 380.38. This way, uh, this way I can take profits. But this little zone right there, right? This little zone right there is what we're looking at, okay? That's what we're looking at. And if, uh, this is how we're going to bounce around that. Now, it's very possible. Do not get it, do not get it twisted. It can bounce here, 382, 382.22, come up, slam right into 383.26 and not go any higher. And just start bouncing right here, okay? Do this, this all day. All right, make sure we understand that. It can very well do that, okay? So as long as it stays under 383.26, then this right here, this little triangle is very likely. So make sure you keep that in mind too when you're trading. If it starts doing that, remember your moves this morning, you got maybe an hour and a half to get your money in, right? Get your profits because the tighter she gets, the tighter she gets, the worse off you are. All right, you're losing more and more opportunity throughout the day if she stays within this triangle. But good news is, tomorrow, if she does stay within this triangle, I believe it would be building up buying power. If it builds it up buying power, then chances are post-market and possibly even during pre-market, you're going to see it get right back up to here again for tomorrow. That's if it kind of gets all wedged up in here, right? This would be considered a choppy day if it just stays right here in this little area. So... That's what I have for you so far uh, for our thesis for today. If you like what you see, please, by all means, like, share, subscribe. Get more educational videos on, on how we trade, how to set up your thesis and whatnot. So that way you can actually take in, the, the, uh, take in more education to be able to make more money. Because nobody wants to not make money, right? We want to be able to make money, but we have to do it smart we have to uh, we have to do it with a uh an objective mind now like yes uh like yesterday i think it was let's see uh on the 23rd uh this is this is what i did uh yesterday uh, i'm sorry not yesterday <laughs> on december 23rd as you see right there everything is time stamp 10 uh I, this is I, I was able to do all this within 30 minutes of the market Right there, 10:23. Okay, everything's timestamp. Right there, this is this is the options. Okay, uh, this is how I played them out. And the, of course, you see my exponentials. You can see my SMAs. You can see my moving average. Right. Uh, that's the uh, this row here is the theoretical uh, the theoretical price, basically where it thinks it could go. That's this little uh, whippy whoppy purple line right there. Right. I don't really follow that. Uh, half the half time I ignore it. <laughs> I don't know why it's even still there to be honest. Um, but anyway, so on the 23rd, you see how it kind of came down, right? These are how I trade. The the market did the same thing, okay? Uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, cause back over here real quick, and right here, see, right there. That's what we're talking about right there. If we can do this right there, right? That's a, uh, it's, it's a 30 minute chart. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and drop this 
let's drop this down a second. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, five days fine. There it is. See, my options chart that you saw r reflects this. I caught it here. Down here is where I caught it and rode it all the way up. All right, let's go back and look. At, let's go back and look again. See, right there. That's what we. Uh, that's what we did. We caught it right there, as you saw, and then we rode it up, and even rode it down here. Came out, and right, that's when we realized we're done. <laughs> okay, and let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back to the chart again. All right. Let's see. There it is. Up here, here, here. This tells me we cannot get over 383.22. So yeah, I sold here. You see how they mesh, right? You see how it follows the chart? The options chart follows the chart. If you don't have an options chart, you really shouldn't be trading options, to be honest with you, because all this is going to look like is a bunch of numbers. If you have an options chart, you can trade patterns. Patterns are your friend as, just as much as trend is your friend. And that's what we do here in the Discord and the bullpen is that you know we we this right here this little candle right here right make sure y'all can see that that right there's a pivot point okay on a ascending line of support see this this was more than enough for me to see that one it's right here at 378.70 i have an ascending line of support that was on my that was on my chart when this was going on okay and then of course Yeah, and then of course, you know, uh, I want to be above, you know, I don't want to be caught in anything wild, right? So I go above here. Uh, let's see, let's go back to this. Let's make sure we, we actually analyze this. All right, see the top of that, uh, see, the, see where my entry is? Is the top of that red candle right there? All right, so that means I was in the top of this red candle right here. So let's see. Look at that line right there is where you got in three, uh, three ninety, uh, three seventy nine twenty two is where I got in, right? And you see, she went all the way up, came up, came down. See that little downside right there, right? Let's go back over again. There you go. See how it made a higher low as well, right? So this is how you followed up. You see a higher low, so you could have bought in some more uh, above this above this green candle right here. Uh, I'm trying to make sure you see everything. Uh, yeah, above this green candle right here, right? You could have bought in another lot. Uh, this is right, 380, uh, 38. See how well it bounces right here of this area? Goes up more. Okay, but I didn't. You see what you see? What I did? I only had one contract, and that was enough. I know I know one contract don't seem like a lot, but that's 100 shares. All right? That's 100 shares, one contract. Okay? So when you're trading the spy on 100 shares, right, and it's around 378.50, and you got 100 shares of that, you need $3,000 to get 100 shares to do that. Okay, I only needed uh, $378 to get 100 shares of that, which because it's just one contract, and I was able to make my money, and gave it two times to get above and break a uh, break over three. 82.22 for higher levels and it didn't it just could not get above to make higher levels so what i do cut bait third time i said okay this right here that's the candle that said eh -eh. no game was over she uh, she tried her best right there it is and voila there's the line i went put i uh, put my stop loss right i raised my stop loss up and there it is it tagged me out at a dollar nineteen, right there. There's your sell ticker. Uh, there's your sell tag. There's your buying tag. It just puts it at the top and uh, the top of my candles, right? No, I should put it where it was. That's why I went ahead and drew some lines, uh, showing you exactly where about on the candles it was, so you can see how I got out, right? No, want to be more transparent. The thing a lot of people that uh, you guys will not see is transparency. They won't show you this, okay? They will not show you your their actual entries, their actual exits, their stop losses. They're not going to show you that stuff, okay? They're really not. And it's just not going to work out. But I'll show you something else, too. Uh, give me one second here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you. 
There we go. I'm going to show you this one. Transparency. Here's a trade that didn't work out in my favor. I gave it a minute to do it. Right? Here it is. I took this trade in the middle of, uh, of this candle for the breakout. However, it didn't end. It didn't end. came back. And it didn't. And it came back on me. The stop loss should have been at 107 instead of 70, uh, 67 cents. The 84% rule could have been issued here uh, in this trading session. All right. So here we go. Um, here's my entry. Right. It comes up. I still got stomped out right there. Here on this one, right uh, on this tail, or even that tail, but I didn't. I cut bait here, right? And of course, look, she comes all the way around, and this is what I mean by the 84% rule. The 84% rule is not my rule. It's from a book called Professional Trading Strategies. Go get it. It's expensive, but I promise you, it is absolutely worth it. All right, it's absolutely worth it. But there's, uh, by making sure you understand full transparency, the 84% rule is not mine. It belongs to professional trading strategies. Uh, the author of that book is Jared Wesley. Go get that book. I swear to God, it just does. Uh, it will change your trading uh, tremendously. I just, <laughs> I lose words because there's no words to describe how well that book will just increase your trading. Okay. Anyway, by so if I were to put my same entry in at 22 cents, right? I would have been able to take it. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, a dollar twenty-two cents. My my apologies. If I took uh, if I took my entry back at a dollar twenty-two, okay, I could have got to target one seventy uh, one seventy so one seventy-one. So the trade worked. The problem is I got in too early. All right, and because I got in too early, there we go. Because I got in too early, all right, I got I got stopped out. I was going for the breakout, right? That's why I got here. I go for the breakout. That's why I said I got in too early. I wouldn't have known I got in too early until it faltered, right? And that's why you want your stop losses a little tighter than I did. Okay, this is why this is here. This is my journal. This is why uh, uh, I'm doing this because of my mentor. He does it like this. I was like, you know what? You do. Uh, you follow what money does. Money, uh, you know, money does this. And he's a millionaire now when he used to be another schlub like me. So voila. You know, <laughs> I know you follow. Yeah, you follow your mentors, and you mimic money to make money, and da da. That's what I do. Anyway, so the 84% rule would have made out, and I would have made. Uh, I would have made my losses back, and I would have made my gains again. Okay, and then I would have made some gains. So I would have walked away with a smaller net profit than gross, of course. But I still would have walked away profitable for the day. But check this out: $55 loss. All right, this whole thing right here only costed me $55. This is risk management. All right, this is why I'm showing you this, is showing you risk management. All right, you'll see people blowing up their accounts and they're losing hundreds to 50,000s of dollars. I ain't kidding you, they, they it gets worse than that. Uh, they lose and they lose them in that trade, not over time, they lose them in one trade thousands to ten thousands of dollars in one trade it's because they don't have a realistic stop loss or re or a real expectation on the chart they're not reading the chart properly to get a real expectation on it and that's what you end up having okay whoops so that's what i want you guys to see real quick right is trade management and risk management all right and with uh, one more real quick this is another one. Went the way I wanted. Again, you see I'm just doing one contract. And there he is. I, I started putting doing this uh, just so you can see, just for my uh, visual effects. <laughs> um, I, like, I like doing this. Because, uh, again, small single wins. These are called single wins, okay? I know it's not life-changing money, $28. What I can do with $28? That can pay your gas bill right there. That can pay your gas bill. That's your, uh, uh, that's your food bill for the day, depending on where you eat right uh hell that could pay for a meal you know i mean yeah, there's it pays it pays for something okay gas in your car i know it's not life changing money but it's also $28 more $59 more than you would have had okay um and by by thinking of it like that right you're going to find yourself making 
more money because you're getting used to these kind uh, these type of things I didn't put it I didn't put it here this was a $59 run that I made here but I forgot to put the $59 there but that's what I'm talking about that's what you're uh, that's what you need to understand single wins start adding up so you know you got an extra two or three hundred dollars in your account that you didn't have before because you're taking the single wins that's what we teach here and once you get used to the process you start making more and more money but that's it for the lecture. Uh, ain't much of a lecture. It's only tw I'm trying to keep this within 20 minutes here. I'm about 30, uh, about 40 seconds over now. So let me cut this down. Uh, let me cut this down now. Saying thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you're learning, and I hope you continue watching these videos. And like I asked before, please like, click, share, do whatever it is. You know this thing better than I do. I'm just an old fogey that uh, that don't know technology. Technical. They think I can't even say the word. You know, it's what the hell. Um, <laughs> I don't know YouTube and YouTube and all that and Tic Tac. I don't know that crap. I just know this. I know trading. I know trading. I know it well. So, uh, and that's what I do here. I leave all this other stuff to you, uh, to youngsters that are just more brighter than I am when it comes to that stuff. So, anyway, that being said, thank you for showing up. Okay. This is Nikra's bullpen. And make money, trade safe, be safe. And thank you again. Ding, ding. Uh, ding, ding, mother...